The Minister of Housing. Has Housing New Zealand been referring people to live in campgrounds? Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I'm advised that Housing New Zealand does not please people in campgrounds, but if an applicant has an emergency housing need, they will refer them to a list of temporary accommodation providers. The list in Auckland has 21 emergency accommodation providers, none of which are campgrounds, but I'm also advised that in other parts of New Zealand sometimes the list refers to a campground. I'm further advised the policy has not changed from the previous government. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Is he comfortable that elderly people, some as old as 80, are being housed in campgrounds, or should they just be thankful for any kind of roof over their heads however inadequate and unprotected under national. Mr Speaker. Order. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, my view is that campgrounds do not provide an answer for people's permanent accommodation needs and that wherever possible we should try and accommodate those people in suitable permanent accommodation. And that is why this government, uh, with Housing New Zealand, has got a record investment, is building more houses than ever. But I do say that even in Nelson, as a constituency member of parliament, I have sometimes had emergency housing situations where the appropriate answer is to have somebody in a cabin at a campground rather than being out in the cold. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. <coughs> Has he seen the research done by Dr Christina Severinson from the University of Otago, which suggests that thousands of Kiwis are living in campgrounds because they simply have nowhere else to go? And if so, does his government still think they are making a lifestyle choice to live in a caravan? Mr. Honourable Speaker. Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, yes, I have seen that research. It's very interesting. It's day, it is based on 2007 census data. 2007 census data. Now, I would not temper to measure as to who might have been the government in 2007. I'll leave that to the House. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Speaker. Order. A point. Order. This is a point of order. Bill Twyford. Mr. Speaker, I um, seek leave to table the research uh, by Dr. Christina Severinson, which suggests that thousands of Kiwis are living order. in campaign. Leave us sought to table that particular and, Mr. research. Mr. Speaker, it's not based order. on the census order. data. Order, that's not necessary. Leave us sought to table that particular research. University of Otago, is there any objection? There is none. It can be so tabled. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Is he aware that Statistics New Zealand defines people living in campgrounds as homeless, and does that make him the Minister for Homelessness now that there are 4,000 Kiwis on the priority waiting list? 4,000, up 1,500 since 2012. Well order, Honourable, order, Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, uh, I'm advised that the current numbers on Housing New Zealand's waiting lists is just over 4,000. I'm further advised that the number in November 2008 was 4,300. 4,300. I also note that the research from the census data defined the number of people in that research data as homeless as about 35,000 at the time of the 2007 census. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. When is he actually going to start providing more houses rather than fewer, given that in the last quarter the number of properties sold by Housing New Zealand exceeded purchases by 42 per cent, demolitions exceeded new builds by 165 per cent, leases expiring exceeded new leases taken on by a factor of six, and the number of state houses has declined by 500 in the last year. Order. Order. Mr Speaker, Order. Order. it may not have been noticed by members opposite, but there was a little event in Christchurch involving an earthquake that damaged 5,000 properties. 5,000 properties. I can further advise the member that over the next three years, Housing New Zealand is investing $2.7 billion in Housing New Zealand, a larger figure than at any time in Housing New Zealand's history.
Um, question number nine, Paul, Paul Foster Bell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Associate Minister of Health and Arts.